All right, in this video, I'm demonstrating connecting an outlet up uh, to rough wiring. This was a room that was rehabbed to become a music studio. Uh, the wiring is part of the rough wiring. You have to, for electrical rough wiring, electrical inspection, have the grounds connected. Uh, the huts and the neutrals can float uh, since you don't really have anything connected. Um, now I'm just trimming the wires to about four to five inches and stripping the ends. After the ends are stripped, I'm going to use needle nose pliers and loop each wire. And the purpose of the loop is so that the wire will fit around uh, the, the lug screw on the outlet. So the looping just needs to loop back on itself just enough so that you can get it around the lug screw and you may have to use needle nose pliers to pinch the wire even more and I'll demonstrate that now. So on this outlet it's possible for you to get the wire just the right way and bend it up uh, because the one part of the wire will uh, get stuck behind the little plastic piece there. That's I think that's by design the way that the outlet was made. Uh, if you don't have that feature you may have to pinch it with needle nose pliers. Now the hot gets connected to the smaller side to the right side to the brass color screw because the hot is the black, the small wire, white is the neutral, the bigger connector, and ground is the uh, small middle connector and you see here I'm connecting the ground now. This is where I'm pinching the wire on the, the lug. Um, Make sure you secure the screws down tight enough uh, to ensure good electrical bonding. And just going through and pinching these wires a little bit. Okay, after the, the wires are secured with the lug screws and torqued down enough, I'll then bend the wiring here a little bit so that when the outlet is pushed into place, the wiring will bend in an accordion style so that it, it all fits in inside the box nicely. Now this is a 12 gauge wire used for a 20 amp circuit, so that's why it's a little bit beefier than the uh, uh, 14 gauge. And a little bit of a safety note is just wrapping the outlet with at least two layers of electrical tape. And that helps minimize chances of the ground wire coming in contact with the neutral or hot. Now the breaker that is supplying the this uh, circuit is a AFCI GFCI combination breaker uh, so it is important that you have good ground connection uh, and also a good neutral connection but you you want to ensure that anyway because a poor connection can result in overheating under high current conditions that could start a fire here I'm torquing down uh, the screws to secure it but this is a mistake I just made which was I uh, screwed it in too much uh, so now I realize that I have to back it out a little bit so I'll use my driver to slightly loosen uh, the outlet so that it will stick out a little bit more and then I will align it so that it is parallel to the wall because if you notice right there it's uh, angled a little bit uh, inward uh, now I just adjusted it and I'm installing the, the cover. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Uh, leave a comment about your experience if you notice anything. I'm always open to suggestions. Uh, what's your experience has been? Have you had an outlet fail, cause a fire, anything? Thanks for watching.